Omicron is the 15th letter in the Greek alphabet. Scientists have recently identified a new variant of coronavirus as the Omicron variant. There are at least 1000 variants of SARS-CoV-2 that has been identified so far. Not all of these variants have a Greek letter associated with them. World Health Organization assigns Greek alphabets to those variants they see potentially dangerous. They call these variants VOC which is the abbreviated form of a variant of concern. WHO defines VOC as a variant of SARS-CoV-2 which is more transmissible than its contemporary variants. If the variant has the ability to make you more sick or if the variant is able to produce more severe symptoms in your body. And if the current treatment and public health measures fail to control the spread or become ineffective. Although Omicron is the 15th letter on the list, World Health Organization skip 13th and 14th letter new and she because new might be confused with the word new and she for Xi Jinping, the president of China. From the definition, it is apparent that not every variant that WHO names is a variant of concern. Among all the 13 variants named so far, only 5 have been found to be variants of concern. They are namely Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta and now the Omicron. The rest of the variants are called variants of interest or shortly known as the VOI. Genetic sequencing has become easier over the past decade as new variants emerged they needed names. So the scientists developed a system of naming these variants of SARS-CoV-2. They named it the Pangolin or Pango lineage for short which stands for Phylogenic Assignment of Named Global Outbreak Lineages. Pango lineage name for Omicron is B.1.1.529. There are many lineages of SARS-CoV-2 such as A, then B, then C, then D, and so on. If there are two subsequent variants found in a lineage, then they are named 1 and 2. For example, A.1, A.2, B.1, B.2, and so on. If furthermore subsequent variants are identified, then a new number is added after the dot. For more information about Pangolin, you can visit the following website on the screen. There you shall find complete list of every available variant identified so far. It was first reported to the World Health Organization from South Africa on 24th November 2021. On 26th November 2021, the WHO designated it as a variant of concern and named it Omicron. This variant has a large number of mutations, some of which have concerned the scientists. Omicron variant has 60 mutations compared to original Wuhan variant. Among these, 32 mutations occurred in the spike protein. Basically, it means the spike protein of Omicron has changed dramatically. This is important because it means the antibodies produced in our body in response to COVID-19 infection will not recognize the virus anymore. Therefore, the virus will have the ability to hide itself from our immune system. There is a question that you might ask, if I am vaccinated, will I get infected by Omicron? The answer to the question is yes, you can get infected from Omicron. Vaccines work by telling the body to produce specific antibodies against the virus. Ultimately, the antibodies are the ones that kill or destroy the virus. If the antibody cannot recognize the virus it was manufactured to kill, the vaccine may fail. Researchers all over the world are studying this new variant and they will continue to share their findings as they become available. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has provided us with the following information. The virus has the potential to be more transmissible. To make a clear assumption, further study is needed. Preliminary data suggests that the symptoms produced by Omicron is mild, but there has been a rise in the cases of hospitalizations. This may be due to other concurrent variants such as Delta. More studies are needed. People who have had COVID-19 before are maybe in the increased risk of getting a reinfection by Omicron. Current vaccines remain effective against severe disease and death. PCR is still effective for the detection of Omicron but other types of tests including rapid antigen detection tests remain uncertain. Corticosteroids and interleukin-6 receptor blockers will still be effective for managing patients with severe COVID-19. Other treatment modalities will be further assessed.
Keep a physical distance of at least 1 meter from others. Wear masks. Keep your windows open for ventilation. Avoid overcrowded spaces. Keep your hands clean. Cough or sneeze into a bent elbow tissue. Get vaccinated when it is your turn. I will continue to provide updates as more information becomes available. If you find this video helpful, then let your friends know about Omicron by sharing this video with them. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye bye.